So Karupa, we've got some new teacher trainees starting with Chikri. Have you got any words of advice for them at all? Yes. Um, you best get ready for the ride of your life. It's going to take you through a range of emotions, good ones, bad ones, ones you didn't even know you had. What was your experience? I mean, Karupa trained, she was the first trainee that I had. It would have been um, a good 10, 15 years ago. What was it like in those days for you training? Be honest. It was it was worse than being in the army, <laughs> but it was the best. I didn't want to know what I was doing right. I wanted to know what I was doing wrong. And with Neil, that's what you will get. There's no point. What I found is there's no point in knowing what you're good at because you're not going to improve. Neil looks for the best in everyone. He wants the best for everyone. And he will push you. Did I push you? All the way. You didn't even let up for me on me for one moment. I'll give you an example. I was in a class teaching one of his class, 30 students. I thought I did alright, but no. This guy got up in front of 30 students and he slated me. Slated me about you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you didn't do this. And I was like, okay, fine. Inside I was raging, I wanted to cry, but I knew that, like yourselves, he's chosen you because he has seen something in you. Not everyone is gonna get accepted to do G3. So what Neil saw in me is he wanted to bring that out. He wanted me to find it myself. And through his training, it is strict. It is gonna push you. This is, this is like, like an army workout, mental, physical, and emotional. Just get ready for it, and you're going to enjoy it, embrace it. I love it. She never cracked to her credit. How can you help these people to be strong enough to have the nerves and the guts and the guile to get through? What do they need to remember? You need to know, first of all, that yoga isn't about teaching. It's about your own self journey. What you think you're going in for is not what you're going to come out with. It's your own personal journey. And this is something which I myself and most people I think run away from because you will be taken to that darkest point and it will be unraveled. You have to, it's like when you go into, at least going into your own garden and not trimming the weeds, you really have to dig deep. That hurts, doesn't it? It hurts. It's like you're, you're using like a screwdriver to pick these weeds out and it stabs you. It hurts you. You want to scream. You want to hug this guy. But don't. So what's the point? What's the point? It's the point is to bring the best out in you. Is for you to, to deal with your own demons and to know that you are strong. You're not born with these these challenges, these challenges come to you and it's for you to find those challenges and work with them, not against them. It's like yoga. It's a, yoga is a unification of yourself and the higher self and that's exactly what you're going to do. It's the good, the bad and the ugly but believe you me, I, when I, when I've been through Neo's Chikri teacher training as I said, number one teacher and it's one of the best things I ever did. Really, really. One, you know, flipped my life 180 and... <laughs> she used to hate me. <laughs> yes. But thankfully she's got it to So do you enjoy teaching now? Oh, I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. For me, it's, for me it's, not about, it's not about the money aspect of it. It's taking the knowledge from what I'm really grateful, which I got from Neil, and he has got universe of knowledge. You will not get this knowledge anywhere else. And with that knowledge and getting it from other sources as well and being able to share it. And when you get to that point and then still learning, still learning through every, not just not just from books from other teachers but from my students, from people, from t children as I teach children. And sharing that, giving that. When you're seeing people's lives change, you know, I know for myself that that is exactly why I do what I do. Any final words to keep them going through their course? You know what, smile through it, enjoy it, live it, embrace it, and know 
that what this guy is doing is for your best. Even when at the toughest moments, you just want to throw that towel in, don't do it. Seriously, don't do it, do it. You know, I not only did I go through this guy's teacher training, I worked with this guy, and this guy is militant. <laughs> he really is. I'm not painting a great picture, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. You're not going to get fluffy. He's, you will not get fluffy stuff with him. You'll get hardcore teaching, and that's what you're paying for. You, to be honest, money can't buy what this guy knows. Thank you for your words of advice. No worries. Advice, everyone. I hope that helps you guys. And um, look forward to seeing you again in the next module. And me too. And quickly. <laughs> Peace. Thank you.